planning on doing your HGV license? Or maybe you've just passed your heavy goods test. Maybe you're a little bit unsure of how to secure a load. Unsure of working time? Driver's hours? Or maybe you're unsure how to hitch up to a trailer. If you're unsure of any of these, then why not check out the all new revamp for 2023-24 essential new trucker's handbook. It even gives you advice for passing your LGV driving test through to your, from your medical, uh, through to your theory test, gives you all the questions on your theory test. Even if you've been driving for years, trust me, this book will update your existing skills. It's the essential new trucker's handbook by Malcolm Green. Links in the description. Check it out. Enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Well, hello there. How the devil is everyone this week? Hope everyone is well. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the vlog. Uh, you join me, what day are we on? Wednesday, which I believe is the day after the last video. Uh, delivered my load this morning. And uh, I am now, I've uh, been back to the yard drop and swap trailers and I now have a full trailer and I'm on my way to France uh, I'm gonna be on the Portsmouth boat tonight so this is where I'm heading to Get around this guy Thank you. Right. Um, yeah, so on my way down to Portsmouth. Let's close this window up. At the end of the road, turn left, B4122. Uh, for a drop tomorrow morning, and I'm heading a bit further, sort of southwestish, then for my reload. And hopefully, if everything goes okay, I should be back on the boat tomorrow night. But we will just have to wait and see. Uh, hopefully everything goes okay. Uh, the only thing that's going to put a kibosh in anything really, I think, is Civet. Depending on how long I'm in customs for. Um, the 11 o'clock boat tonight is due in to Kine for 7 in the morning. So it'll be from there then, from Kine, uh, clear the port, into Civep, which is about four minutes from the port uh, into Civap uh, get that cleared and then go and get this delivered uh, so whatever happens you're coming with me cross the roundabout and take the second exit so I've just uh, fueled up at Chippenham anyway, heading to the M4 now pick up uh, the A34 junction 13 Heading straight down towards Southampton and an local left down towards Portsmouth. Um, Going to be there for about, it says 13 minutes past six at the moment. Um, but if I make some time up, might be a bit earlier than that. And then, then again, I'm going to be traveling down there through rush hour, so it might be a little bit later. But I've got plenty of time. Say the boat, uh, you know, start boarding the boat till about half past 10, 10 o'clock at the earliest. Go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. So I will have uh, a night in a proper bed tonight. And hopefully it'll be a cabin to myself again. I'll find that out once I've, uh, once I've booked in at the, uh, at the port. I've just fueled up, as I said. Um, I had blued up at the yard, so I've got 100% on both at the moment. So that should be good for everything I need to do today and tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, time I get down to Portsmouth now, I'll probably have about 75% fuel left. Um, so it's not too far for the for the tip from the port, and then apparently it's about two two and a half hours then down to uh, where i'm collecting from and uh, 
and then heading back up again. So it should be okay on a full tank, hopefully. If not, I'm sure there's a few places I can fuel up uh, over the other side on my way back up. And uh, apologies for there not being much in the last video. Um, it was literally because I was parked up all day Monday and only drove up to Scotland on Sunday. There wasn't a lot really I could record apart from collecting and heading back down south. So yeah, so apologies for there not being a lot of content. I mean, it was a what, 27 minute video, which is unheard of for me. I don't do 27 minute videos. <laughs> um, but um, yeah. But either way, hope you enjoyed it anyway. Because uh, that's due out tonight now. I've got it going out at six o'clock. So hopefully you'll have enjoyed it. But this one's a bit more like it. Heading back out across the water, so it gives me a little bit more content. I haven't been to this one before, so something new for you guys as well. And I've uh, been asked quite a few times now, um, is it only France and Belgium that you're going to do? Uh, no, it's not. I am going to be doing more, but I think I'm being sort of kept localish across there because um, obviously I've only got the small tanks on here and uh, I don't think they want me going too far. So I think that'll all change once I get my next lorry. What it's gonna be. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna, just getting on the motorway now on the M4 as you can see. Or oh, got, as you, well, you probably already know, but <clears throat> I got a ladder cam back up for you. Uh, the other video was so short that even I didn't even put the camera up on the ladder. Just kept it on the front screen. So you have ladder cam in this one. A lot of you do like ladder cam. It says it gives you a better perspective of uh, of what we're doing. So happy days. Ladder cam is back, and uh, hopefully, unless it's a time lapse or something like that, I'll keep the ladder cam going for you. So let's crack on. Let's get down towards Portsmouth and uh, I'll probably come back to you just before I get in there. It'll be dark by the time I get down there because uh, it's coming up to four o'clock now. As I say, I'm due there uh, about ten past quarter past six, dependent on traffic. So I will see you guys very, very shortly. Toodles. Hello. Um, I am 4.7 miles away and I just thought I'd put the cameras back on to show you this. Told you what the traffic would be like this time of night. Uh, so the uh, the quarter past six has now gone to 25 past six. Got a 15 minute delay on this bit. So got a nice little slow run <laughs> down towards the port now. But luckily enough, I've got plenty of time to kill. So it's not so bad. This is crazy traffic though. Tell us rush hour. I need to give my screen a clean again, I think, on the inside. Looking a bit patchy. Let him in. is bonkers even one's going down the yard shoulder look just to try and jump in front get there when you get there at the end of the day <laughs> right well, I'm not gonna sit in this traffic with you so uh, I'll come back to you just before I get into the port see you in a few minutes toodles Hello. Not too bad. Quarter past six. Just a bit of a queue to get in now. Looks like this boat's going to be busy. Like there's quite a few waiting. Oh, you can see over there, but you might be able to. Oh, it looks like there's quite a few waiting to get on. So it might be a case of sharing tonight. 
depending again all depends on what uh, what boat it is whether it's the uh, the freighter or whether it's the other one because if it's the other one I know you can get four into a room on that one I don't really uh, fancy the idea of having a shared room with four people I don't know and there we go we shall see Fire be it. Has he got the old yellow watch box? I want to go to the left lane, so the uh, the booth is on my right. There's a car there in the freight lane. I got my paperwork. Got my T1 form, got my GMR, need those to get across, and also my passport, which is in the drawer. Get that out ready, I think. Uh, could have gone in the right-hand lane, really, but it's easier if it's on my, the booth's on my right. Maybe that going to... I think it's a foreign driver behind me. I'm not sure whether he's. Yeah, he's going to come down my outside now. Which probably means there's probably going to be a queue as well for booking in to get me ticket. Anyway, uh, right, I'm not going to hold you on camera whilst uh, I'm in the queue for this to be boring so I'll uh, come back to you once I got me ticket and find out what I'm what's happening whether I've got a, a room to myself or whether I'm shared in or yeah so I will catch you in a bit guys toodles okay all booked in got me ticket put all the paperwork in everything's good and uh, single room yay Room to myself. Happy days. I have a nice, good, good night's sleep tonight. Now, um, have a shower, something to eat, jump into bed, and then uh, all's good for the morning. Then, so I'm gonna have a quick look now to see how far down this one is. Apparently, it's only about 40 minutes for the trip for the drop, but uh, I'll have a check it out. I'll check it all out. Have a look on the maps and whatever, and then uh, and go from there. So we're all sorted ready to go it is now hang on quarter seven so i got about three or so hours now before we start boarding so it's all good it's gonna get a bit noisy now is uh coming past the fridge empty keys take all my bags up all my bag all my wash stuff in towel and everything else so I can have a shower and then uh, turn up. Oh, there I 
big kerfuffle here. There we are, it's better. Um, yeah, stick all the uh, stick all my stuff in the room, go and have some food, and then uh, kick back and chill for a bit, go and have a shower, and go to bed. So that's the plan. Um, what I might do is just a little uh, little piece just as I'm going in onto the boat, um, and then I'll I'll speak to you guys in the morning. So yeah, see you in a bit, guys. Doodles. in France and I am currently in Civep in Kine and uh, just waiting for a bay so they, apparently they want me on either number one or number two if I go on number one that's probably gonna be a strip down which means they can open up and pull everything out check everything so it could be at a while um, but the drop is uh, I think it's about 20 minutes away 
Let's have a look. Eighteen minutes, seven and a half miles from my from my drop. Um, not quite sure about my collection yet because I haven't got details for the collection, but apparently it's about two and a half hours that way. So uh, shouldn't be too bad as long as I'm not in here too long. You will arrive at your destination at 9:10 a.m. So it might not be too bad. Um, we were late leaving last night. The boat didn't actually leave until about quarter to twelve. It's supposed to leave half past ten. Uh, didn't actually get on board until probably about eleven o'clock. Um, and I'd had my food, um, uh, got my cabin, had my food, even before we'd left. So I finished my food, and just as I finished my food, I went outside, and uh, we were just leaving then. So, but uh, yeah, use ferry mode, because uh, obviously by the time we loaded, uh, my time was up, so I had to put on the ferry mode. Um, but by the time we got in this morning, uh, it was all good. Uh, my, all my break time was up, so that was fine. Um, if you don't know how ferry mode works, basically you pack up. Uh, what I did yesterday is when I pulled into the uh, to the port, um, it literally put it straight on break. That was about seven o'clock, quarter past seven, something like that. And put on break, put on ferry mode, which then gives you, um, you get an hour's movement, basically. Um, so it just gives you time to get on the boat, get off the boat if you need to for, for getting off the boat. So by the time I loaded, because I think my time was up about half past nine, 10 o'clock, something like that. So my 15 hours were up on the, on the dock before I got on the boat. So with the ferry mode in place, uh, you can have the, the movement onto the boat. Uh, it goes back on the brake. Um, and then when it's on the boat then it continues on you break um, but just with that it just adds on that movement that you had and you're gonna have a full 11 hours off uh, when you use ferry mode so uh, with the the crossing overnight it's about seven and a half eight hours uh, we got in at half past seven this morning so it didn't they didn't make too bad of a time this last night considering we left late um, so by the time I got back in the cab, and I was in the cab 20 minutes before we uh, before we actually moved, and I was well into my uh, my 11 hours off then. So even with the movement from last night, so everything was good. <coughs> so you can just move off and go straight through. But it took ages to get out the port. Uh, as you'd have probably seen from those little clips, there was a bit of a queue getting out. Um, uh, Sivep is literally four minutes from the uh, from the, the dock entrance. So you come over here, get all this sorted, and I'll be heading out then, seven and a half miles away, 18 minutes, and that's with a three minute delay. So, and that's just before I get to where I'm going. So we just have to wait and see how long I'm in here for now. Uh, it's now five to eight. No, it's not, it's five to nine. It's five to eight UK time, <laughs> five to nine here. Um, so we just have to wait and see how long I'm here for now. Um, as long as I'm out of here, within an hour or so and get down get tipped and then head to my collection collect and then head back up again because i'll be back on the boat again tonight then uh to deliver tomorrow so hopefully everything will be good so just wait and see how long i'm in here for now i'll come back to you when i'm leaving so it's five to nine see what time i'm getting out of here see you in a bit guys doodles hey 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 Right, well, currently still at Civip, uh, on the bay, as you can see. And uh, the doors are open, and they're uh, taking stuff off to check it all. Which is not what I wanted, really, but, because when they do that, normally it takes a little bit longer here. Um, but I just thought I'd show you uh, where we are on the bay, which is by there. And uh, this is basically Civip, literally. Five minutes from the, the port, so just a case of now waiting and uh, <coughs> hoping everything's okay with it. Because what they'll do now is they'll ask me to move off the bay, go back around the back to park up, and then uh, wait on the paperwork. Excuse the wind; it's a bit windy. Um, I just thought I'd show you what we do when we're at 
impressive, eh? Sometimes you're just back on the bay and they just check your seal and you're good to go. And other times, like today, they open you up, take stuff off. Going on. Okay. All good to go. So I'll pull forward and uh, shut the doors, go around and pack up, wait for paperwork. Right. See how long it's gonna, it's gonna take. See you in a bit. Doodles. Oh, right. I'm free. I'm free to leave. It is now 20 to 12. Nearly three hours in here. Well, it is more or less three hours from the time I got you. I'm going to go all the way around the building now. Oh, that's the point. I was going to see when I got the paperwork. Let's see if I can get the place up in on Google. Oh, there was another one still here. He pulled up when I pulled up. And he's still here. Actually, I haven't seen him go on the bay. I don't know what's happening there. Eh? Uh, before I go out, let's just have a quick look at the paperwork. See if I can... I've got the, um, the street up on the... Uh, on the Tom Tom. Uh, if I can find the place and pinpoint it, then that would be even better. Uh, right. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. That's good. Uh, uh, recent destination, past the Vexen, drive. It's only about 18 minutes, I think, if I remember correctly. 15 minutes from here. There we are. All right, let's get, 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 get going. Uh, so I got this one's a tip now. I got um, you will apply the chill, chill down frozen on. So we're going to tip that, which hopefully won't take too long. And then my reload is in the place on my, when I loaded the video before last, but I showed you what I do with the locks and everything else on the back. Uh, so that's what I'm going to collect. And that's only just over an hour down the road from where I am now. So it should be about 45 minutes or so um, from where I'm, where I'm dropping off. So it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just hoping I'm not too long tipping. I know it won't be long loading, I wasn't last time. I was only in there about an hour. So that's all good. And I just head back up to the boat then. And get back on the boat tonight. And then heading to Avonmouth. So it's all good so far. Would have been a bit better if I wasn't in here for the well, for the best part of three hours. That would help. But never mind. I'm away now, thank goodness. Little left, nothing over that way. Anything coming from the junction, doesn't look like it. That can't come into the left, so I'll wait for him. Junction's still clear. Clear left, no, another car coming down. Junction's still clear. Clear left, clear right, clear behind. Let's get going. That is one of the only downfalls about doing European work. It's the waiting time in customs. Sometimes you, know, you can be in and out, don't get me wrong. But then you got the days like today, where you're waiting for three hours, and I know some of the boys have been waiting for three days in Civep, so <laughs> compared to that, three hours ain't bad really, is it? So, but well, there we go. Go uh, left on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. So I'm going round the left on the roundabout. All clear after them. Indicate the round. 
beeper will probably go off at some point. Pick up the trailer or whatever. No? That's good. Haven't gone off yet. Take the exit D514. There we are. So we're on our way. So we're 7.1 miles away. Let's get there. And I'll speak to you in a bit. Toodles. Hello! Right, I'm a couple of minutes away now, so I'll put the cameras back on. Take you in with me. The roundabout went straight across this one. In 300 meters. At the roundabout, take the second exit. As you can see, I got, or as you can hear, I got Google on as well. Just to make sure. Roundabout and take the second exit D403. Would be helpful if a lot of these would indicate. Exit the roundabout. Loud. Uh, 1.7 miles away now. So I'm hoping now that, um, as I said just now, I'm not going to be too long in here. I can crack on down then to get my back load. The difference in roads, though. Uh, I'm on a, just a D road. That's smooth there. Uh, little niggly bumps every now and again, you know, but... What a difference out here, I tell you. Compared to that road I was going down in Scotland. <laughs> dear, 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 dear. What a difference, eh? Beginning part of the week, I was way up north in the UK. And now I'm in France on the Thursday. Certainly do get about a bit with this job, which is the nice thing about it. I do like that. After 800 yards, cross the roundabout and take the third exit, D403. And it's good as well because, say for argument's sake, you spend half a week in the UK. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Um, then that uh, helps out for your you're 90 and 180 um, out of 180 days. You can only spend 90 of it in the EU. Cross the roundabout and take Never used to be that before we had Brexit. When before Brexit, you could be out here as long as you wanted to. But now it's 90 days in 180. So hence why it's only uh, two or three days out here, and then uh, back to UK. So it sort of splits it up a bit. Second exit. Fridge has just kicked in again. So, not this one, not this one. So, a third exit actually, not second. Take the exit D403, then go left on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Take the I'm 700 yards away from it, so it's over that way somewhere. After 100 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. Speed up. Go left on the roundabout Ooh. and take the fourth exit. Turn left, then you have 
reached your destination. So that was spot on with this one. <laughs> and uh, at the roundabout, take the fourth exit. Go around the roundabout and take the third exit, <laughs> then turn right. I missed the turning. <laughs> uh, I think it was left on the roundabout, it's not, it's a left turn. Behind me, does he? Well, there's Littles that Steve was telling me about. You have reached your destination. Your destination is on the right. This must be it here then. Right, I've been told to go right the way down the bottom. Hopefully, the bay that I require is empty. Oh, I'm gonna go on this one. And then I gotta go on that one there for the frozen. Another one you gotta get spot on, because they've got creepy goose flipping boulders on the sides of them. Alright, go open the doors. Let me get on the bay. <coughs> Uh, get me jacket. Is this wet out there? Oh, I got my uh, power box behind me, charging up. Oh, behind the seat there. All right. Go open the doors. Get this offloaded, and I'll speak to you uh, when I'm leaving. It is now five past twelve. So let's see how long I'm in here for. See you in a bit. Toodles. Hey guys, welcome back. I am now leaving. <laughs> it's been one of those days for waiting around today. Um, it is now 20 past three local time. Uh, ETA now for Normandy is 20 past four. So hopefully that's gonna be okay. I've just emailed, uh, just messaged. Uh... Yeah, it's all good. Just message the office to uh, let them know what time I'm going to get there. And they said, that's no problem. So, it's going to crack on down now. Yeah, it took them probably about an hour and a half to do the four pallets on chilled. And I had 21 pallets then on frozen. So, right, then go right on the roundabout and take the first exit. I thought to myself, Four pallets for an hour, hour and a half. Then go hmm. right on the roundabout. What's it going to be like for take the first exit. 21 pallets? They weren't too bad. About an hour. So, so I think I got you about 12 o'clock ish, something like that. So. Go right on the roundabout and take the first exit. Well, I know the place I'm collecting. As I said, it's the, um, the one I collected from last week in Normandy. And they're, they're pretty good at loading, pretty quick. I know what I'm doing this time around as well, so happy days. Go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, D403. D403. 
follow these D roads now. Get back up onto the National. Oh, big speed bump. After 100 yards, go right on the roundabout. Well, as I said, well, I said yesterday. Was it yesterday? I can't remember now. No, it wasn't yesterday. It might have been. It might have been another vlog. I can't remember. <laughs> but I said about um, I don't know if it was in this one or in the other one. I said by the time I get down, it'll be or well, down to Portsmouth, it'll be seventy-five percent fuel. I haven't done bad actually. I'm on eighty percent fuel now, so. so I'm doing okay. Yeah, it would have been this one, wouldn't it? Because I came down to Portsmouth from, yeah, fueled up. Because I, yeah, I started it. It's all coming back to me now. I started the vlog at Chippenham tonight. So, yeah, just fueled up. That's all good. Yeah, so it's just a case now of uh, hoofing it down to Normandy, getting this loaded, and coming straight back up to the boat for tonight. Even mouth for tomorrow. And I have a feeling, not 100% sure, because I haven't been told anything yet, but I, might, I got a feeling I'm going to be 24 hours at Merthyr tomorrow, which would make sense. That's my sixth day tomorrow. So I'm probably going to get 24 hours at Merthyr, which means I can go home, click, come pick me up. And it'll be run just then for the weekend. That's what I reckon. But we will see. I think they've had some strong winds here. <laughs> Everything blown over there. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm going up to where that, probably can't see the viaduct, but there's a viaduct over there. Probably going back up over there. We'll get down towards Normandy. So, that's that done. Let's crack on. Let's go down and get this loaded. And I'll speak to you just before I get there. Toodles. just under an hour later I am five minutes away so you might recognize this one from the video before last but I thought oh, I'll take you in with me anyway um, yes yeah, it's um, 17 minutes past four now so I'm gonna get there for about 21 minutes past uh, so not too bad so hopefully I won't be in here too long and I got an hour and a half then back up to the boat and I can sit and chill for a couple of hours until I get on the boat and then head back to the good old UK I'm out here so often now I approach roundabouts in the UK I'm still looking left <laughs> Looking right as well, obviously, but looking left too. It's just one of those things you get used to, I suppose. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. They do do the entrances and exits a bit of a peculiar shape, though. You sort of got to cut round. Oh, gendarmerie over there.
why is three of them stood there? <coughs> a bit strange, that. There we go. Another thing I've noticed as well, whenever you come in towards sort of towns or city centres or whatever else, some of the roads now are right down just like this one. Weird. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. They do make these exits and entrances a bit of a strange shape. Roundabout now, I'm going right. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, then take the second right. Almost there now. Go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, then take the second right. Recognize this bit now. Go around here, around the other side, round to the right, and then it comes up on the right hand side. After 200 yards, turn right, then you have reached your destination. I didn't even need Google on that one. Turn right, then you have reached your destination. And we are here. Oh, can't we bailey that? Oh. Turn around when possible, then at the end of the road. It's obviously loaded. So I'll probably see him up at the uh, at the boat. So I'm gonna park up by here on the right and go up and see him in the office. Take a CMR up from as well. And you can fill that in while I'm going around to load. Right, let's get this sorted. Speak to you when I'm uh, leaving. See you in a bit. Toodles. <sighs> right, all done, all loaded. Uh, is now six o'clock local time. Just coming up to five o'clock UK time. An hour and eight minutes. Why is he heading towards me? I had that last time. Turn yeah. left. Going out the gate, mate. At the end of the road, turn left. Uh, right. Put the coin in the section. Oh, stick it out. I can reach. There we go. Okay. All right. As one shepherd said, the other shepherd. Let's get the flock out of here. Yeah, I got uh, 
hour and eight minutes now back up to the port so that's going to get me there for five past seven ish local time which is good that means i'll have about 12 hours in between finishing tonight and starting tomorrow uh, which means i'm good to go for um ferry mode so you've got to have 11 off when you use ferry mode so as long as i got more than 11 off by the time i get off the boat tomorrow i'll be all good otherwise you gotta get off the boat and then um wait out your time then, left, then when you get off the boat the roundabout and take the third exit so as long as i've got more than 11 off between the time i stop and the time i get off the boat i'll be all good so i'll put on brake as soon as i get there put on the ferry mode and then uh, that gives me the movement then to get onto the ferry and by the time we get yards, back to Portsmouth, on the roundabout and take the third exit, D577. we'll be all good to move. I say the uh, the overnight run is about eight hours, so I'll be in there plenty of time. Won't be on the boat though. I'll well, move on the boat probably about half past ten, I would think. On the roundabout and take the third exit. So yeah. He's out and about. Everything's a bit damp, you know, so the screen is misting up a little bit. That'll soon clear though. Yeah, so we're heading back up the N874, I think it is. But on the D577 at the moment. And then, uh, or was it the N84? I think it's the N84, actually. And then uh, just head back up to the boat. See, it's literally an hour and five minutes now. So it won't be long. And uh, I'll be parked up on the port. So I will take you in with me again. It's going to be dark by the time we get there, because it's just starting to get dark now, as you can see. Um, but uh, yeah, it's always good to take you through with it, isn't it? So, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. I'm going to crack on. Around this roundabout. Round the roundabout. Yes, I'm going to crack on now. Let's get up to. Uh, to kind get ourselves sorted they're the guys uh, from um, customs and I won't be there till about eight o'clock so I'll have a couple of hours to chill well an hour hour I suppose consider I'm getting there at five by seven local time I'm thinking I'm reverting back to UK time now uh, yeah loads of time put my feet up have some food and then uh, we get on the boat later Watch that uh, guy in the scooter. Didn't know which way he was going then. Had to make sure he wasn't coming my way. Of course, a miserable evening. Definitely a miserable evening. Not nice at all out there. Oh, right, let's crack on, as I keep saying. 
Let's get there, and I'll speak to you just before I get the kind. See you in a bit, guys. Doodles! Hello! Welcome back. You join me about just under an hour later. And I am apparently nine minutes away from the port. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit shorter than that. I think it, uh, the nine minutes is actually into the port. Whereas uh, it's a couple more round the boats now and then uh, just get to the entrance of it. So. so it shouldn't be too long getting in there now. I don't think there's going to be anybody hanging about to jump on a truck today. Not with this rain. Very much doubt it. But needless to say, try not to get stopped on roundabouts and that sort of thing. Um, I didn't show you today, but I've done exactly the same as last time. Padlock, uh, put the bull lock on, uh, sealed it, so it's all uh, all safe and secure on the back. So I'm going to jump in the back there. It's a miserable night. Absolutely miserable. I'm due to get there now for five past seven, so I made up a little bit of time coming down, or coming across, I should say. I didn't get held up on the 814 today with the roadworks. But it's probably because it's uh, gone past rush hour now. The timing is going to work out perfectly. It'll be 10 past 6 UK time. So that means I can have about 12 or 13 hours on rest. So it's all good. Covers my 11 hours then. as long as I remember to put it on break. <laughs> Roll on the summer, eh? Lighter nights. Hopefully, a bit better weather. Half a mile now to the roundabout. I'll make sure I stay back from any of the vehicles just to try and keep some momentum going. left once you see that car for or care for or carry for whatever they call it um, you know you're coming into Ustrium after 800 yards cross the roundabout and take Third exit, D84. Oh, there are a couple around. Yeah, there's a couple on there, look. Four of them, actually. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit, D84. Yeah, a couple there as well, look. There's a few of them back tonight, considering it's raining. Best thing to do is make sure you don't stop. Off 
That surprise me. I didn't think there'd be anyone out tonight. Well, it's afternoon. It's evening. Yeah, it's evening. There are. There's a few about. Maybe once you get to this stage, you're uh, more or less okay. One more roundabout, and then you're heading into the port. We are getting into the port now. Another four there, look on the left as you're going in. Policeman there. Two. Sorry about that, guys. One, the wife rang. Two, and the police looking over it and asking me questions, so I thought I'd better turn the cameras off. Um, it's a busy one here tonight. There's lots and lots of people waiting to get in. I've never had a queue like this before. But, um... We're here anyway. <clears throat> so it's just a case of going to the, uh, the old x-ray machine now. And then, uh, and that's it. Go and pack up. And we're done and dusted. So, I'm going to call it a day on this one. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Don't forget, if you are watching and you're not subscribed, then why not contemplate pressing that subscribe button? And then press the old bell notification, get notifications when my videos come out. And also follow, uh, go and check out Ben Davis, The Breeze, or AKA The Breeze, on YouTube. Go and check his channel out. And, uh, sorry, I thought I saw someone by the side of my truck then. It's not though. Um, yeah, go check out his channel, go and check his videos out. And uh, he, does, he puts a good video together, does our Ben. So, uh, go and check him out, go and give him a sub. See if we can get his numbers up a bit more. <clears throat> and also, uh, don't forget to check out Captain Slow on Facebook. You can also catch myself on Facebook and uh, Instagram as well, at Trucker Jenko. Um, you can catch Ben on Facebook, Ben Davis. Go and check his channel or his Facebook page out. And, uh, yeah, go and give him some support, guys. So... <clears throat> 24 hours off the boat back on the boat back to uk that's not bad going that is it not bad going at all so as i said i'm going to call it a day on this one now thank you very much for watching guys i do appreciate it uh thank you to all the new subscribers i got quite a few new subs again uh so if you are as i said if you are watching and not subscribed then why not contemplate press that subscribe button join everyone else Twenty-one thousand people can't be wrong can they <laughs> well maybe they could be i don't know <laughs> but um yeah that's me that's me done guys um thank you very much for watching 
uh, whatever you're doing, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one. Toodles.